Okay, I have bought two Morpheus eyepieces and I'm going to show you how they look. Let me unbox it. Okay, I've now opened it. Let's see what is inside. Oh, I bought it from Germany and it seems it's a habit in Germany. It's a tradition. They send you a Haribo. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. Thank you very much. It's a big Haribo. Oh, look. It has this raspberry also. Let me see if I can eat this. Orange, uh, apple. Doesn't look. Oh, it's agar. Oh, that's halal. Agar, agar. Killing agent. That's lovely. Okay, I'm going to enjoy that. And now this is my art pieces. Let's remove the packaging. See what is inside. Oh, I like this German. Whenever I bought from something from Germany, they send me a Haribo. Send me sweets. Oh, this one. Uh, Butter ocular Morpheus 76 degrees, 6.5 millimeter. So, I'm now going to open the Butter Morpheus uh, 6.5 6 millimeter, 76 degrees eyepiece. Uh, I've read many good reviews about this. I bought it from Germany and uh, I received also this lovely Haribo with it, which is halal actually. It's made of the agar agar. There's no gelatin in it. And now let's see what is inside this one. Oh, that's the eyepiece, but there was other things inside here. So I just have a look. It's like a watch jewelry packaging. Okay, there is here some items oh ringed eye cup uh, attachment for attaching camera directly to the eyepiece a uh, separate eye cap when you use this you need a, a dust cover and that's it so i'll put them back and i now go to open the eyepiece itself Morpheus, lovely, beautiful bag. You can attach this to your belt. Really nice. Uh, everything well thought. Look, the, it's Velcro. At the same time, there is a button here. So, typical German. Everything is built quality. Let me just open it. I use my hand. Okay. And now I have the eyepiece out. This is a beautiful bag. You know? Everything shines in the dark. The best color to see in the dark. Now this is a butter 6.5 millimeter Morpheus 76 degrees almost similar to a Nagler only six degrees different to a Nagler Teleview Nagler if you know and Phantom coating group oh that's lovely and uh, the the writing here you can see is a glow in the dark so you can see the what IPs you are picking in the dark so really thought well thought so this is the eye cap I removed the other side also I remove it. These grooves are really good for holding, ergonomically good for holding the eyepiece in the holder. So, nice eyepiece, big eye lens. It's not very heavy actually, so it is good for, you know, putting on a telescope and just observe. So I suppose part of it must be a little bit plastic. Probably this part that I'm touching with my toe. And this rubber wheel is really good for holding in the cold with the glove even. It, is, it sticks to your hand in a well good way. You have a good grip of it. And let us see in the background of my uh, painting of the Andromeda Galaxy. Some part of it is my own observation. I oomphed it a little bit later. It took several days to dry. My second painting in oil. So, you yeah, used acrylic before that. Now let's go and see how it looks if I take it against the light. Oh yeah, good eye relief, good eye relief, beautiful, I like it. So, this is 6 and a 6.5, good for planetary, moon, everything. And yeah, nice eyepiece, feels nice. And I'm going to take some photographs then. Mm, 
I will conduct some daylight testing and then nighttime testing also. Okay, this is the Morpheus six and a half millimeter, seventy-six degree eyepiece, and I'm going to show you how it will show the daylight views. And that was the view through the Morpheus. Uh, I must say, look, it glows in the when I shine the light on it, it glows. Uh, this is a telescope, um, uh, ED Skywatcher EDAT, diameter 80 millimeter, focal length 600, so around 6.5 millimeter f number. So relatively fast telescope. Skywatcher is one of the best brands. This is a gold version of it, and it deserves to be used by the best. This is Butter Morpheus eyepiece, the best eyepiece, and I was looking at the, some of the hedge grow there. And I was looking through the window to those hedges, uh, some crab tree and some um, um, other tree. Using the Skull Watcher Evo Star 90mm refractor, very good refractor, clear of chromatic aberration, with a Teleview 40mm eyepiece. Let's see how it looks. The image quality of refractor, this refractor is amazing. It's almost like an apochromatic. I don't see any aberration anywhere. I'm now using the Butter uh, Morpheus uh, six and a half millimeter eyepiece. The image quality now a little bit deteriorates because of the atmosphere. And you can see the image through the eyepiece is much much better than this so i expect that you you don't consider as typical of the eyepiece eyepiece shows really good crisp sharp image like orthoscopic eyepiece the wind is so uh, strong that all the time closes the window but the image quality i must say that with the, this morpheus is similar to my orthoscopic the clear clarity very good sharp uh, image uh, what you saw in my camera, because it's automatic, uh, I can adjust it, hold it at the same time and adjust everything and find the looking point for in the camera, uh, in the eyepiece, is difficult. But if I could adjust it the way that I can see, you could see that it's so, such a fine, um, slender crescent. And it's is very vibrating because of the turbulence in the atmosphere, but that's, that's very interesting. Look at the window, what it's doing with the telescope. Using the Skull Watcher Evo Star 90mm refractor, very good refractor, clear of chromatic aberration, with a Teleview 40mm eyepiece. Let's see how it looks.